All right, everyone. Um, thank you so much for taking time to be with us this morning. It's now 10 or 6 a.m. here in Nairobi. Uh, we appreciate you taking time uh, this Friday morning. It's a very beautiful morning here in Nairobi. Um, I recognize Festus on the call, Frederick, Jack, and Simon. Um, and we will just kick off uh, with a brief introduction to Deco Kenya. Although um, I know Festus, um, who is uh, our participant from outside of the organization, is no stranger to Hudeko. Um, so I'll just try and keep it short as we wait to um, you know, have Shal uh, take us through the session today where we'll be focusing, um, our, you know, our focus will be around the EPMP uh, 450M, uh, which is the CN Medusa technology from Cambia. Well, I can see that you've shared your screen with us. Um, so I, I, I suppose that you're ready to take us through, Shal, correct? I am indeed. I am indeed, Terry. Thank you so much to you and to everyone that's on the webinar this morning for, for just holding up for a bit. Apologies, I had a bit of an overlap, um, you know, uh, with, a, with a client that just needed some technical support. And of course, uh, you know, they're out on the front line. So I had to just give them a bit of extra time. But thank you so much. We've got the problem resolved. And um, yeah, I'm ready to present. So without any further ado, thank you for the introduction, Terry. Um, today, guys, we're gonna be discussing um, something really exciting, really interesting, um, as this is the, uh, the most powerful solution that we have to offer from Cambium at the moment. So if you're a, a, a WISP, an integrator, um, you, know, you need something that is extremely robust in a, in a point to multi-point scenario, then you're at the right place. So um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna be doing a quick run through. It's a very uh, short to the point presentation uh, where we're gonna basically give you a, a brief introduction to the Cambium Networks PMP 450M CN Medusa. If you do have any questions, uh, if you could kindly pop it in the comment section. If I don't see it as we're going, I will most certainly answer your question as uh, we reach the end of the webinar. So thank you. Cool. So. Right off the bat, what is the PMP 450M CN Medusa? So the PMP 450M um, access point uh, with CN Medusa massive MMIMO technology is Cambium's most powerful point to multi-point solution that enables network operators to rapidly provide faster internet connections to significantly more people, places, and things. So, an important thing to note is that the CN Medusa forms part of the Cambium Network's wireless fabric. And what do we mean by that? We're talking about a fully fledged end-to-end -end solution, okay, where you guys as the WISPs and integrators are able to roll out high top performance, uh, high quality top performance equipment um, um, throughout your whole network via uh, Cambium. So whether it be a high-end point-to-point backhaul solution, so maybe a PTP 550, a PTP 670, uh, where you're needing to, to, to basically build a fat pipeline to get connectivity into a place where there is no connectivity, um, you know, or whether it's on your distribution layer. So this is where your PMP 450 will fall into place. Uh, you know, so whether it be a, a, a residential type setup or maybe a small to medium sized enterprise businesses that, that you need to serve, um, you know, this is where the PMP 450 will fall in. But last but not least, on our access layer, you know, where, the, where, where you essentially would typically need a residential Wi-Fi router or maybe an enterprise Wi-Fi access point, Cambium are also able to provide you with that um, in the form of the CN Pilot Wi-Fi access points. So we've got a number of different components coming together here, you know, which, which would typically um, sort of, you know, allow, obviously allow you to serve those different sectors or, or, or components of your network but um, also poses a, a major management sort of challenge. You know, we've got outdoor wireless, we've got point to point, point to multi-point, we've got uh, different types of Wi-Fi, residential, enterprise Wi-Fi. How do we pull it all together and how do we manage a network of the size and scale and complexity? And this is where Cambium really comes to the party because first of all, they've got a fully fledged technical team that offer 24 hour support, okay? Um, to help you with each and every single one of these components. But most importantly, via their free cloud management platform, CN Maestro, you as, the, as a Cambium uh, a business partner or user have full visibility of your entire network from a single pane of glass. So like I said, whether it's an outdoor wireless radio, uh, an indoor Wi-Fi access point, you will have visibility of each and every single one of those devices via CN Maestro. And last but not least, this whole solution is for free. 
Okay, so you know there are no licensing fees attached to this. Basically, you purchase your hardware, and the value add that Cambium you know have sort of promised is that there's a a free platform that you can get visibility of all your uh, devices on. So extremely powerful with regards to troubleshooting. Um, you know, if you're having to any troubles on one of your wireless links, maybe a, a residential client's Wi-Fi, you can jump onto Maestro and tell them exactly what the issue is. Uh, you know, a, a great sort of scenario or example would be, you know, a typical ISP client calling you, you're calling up your help desk saying, look, Google's not working. Your Wi-Fi is useless. You, 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 what you've promised me is not, is, is not the case. In which scenario, you quite simply jump onto your CN Maestro and you say, no, sir or, or ma'am, um, what's actually happening here is that one of the devices in your home is streaming in 4K or, or doing some 4K gaming. And that's what's actually hogging all your bandwidth. So as quick as that, you can identify those types of issues. And obviously, you know, in doing so, you're reducing the number of call-outs, you know, extra maintenance, okay, so that you can reallocate those resources in the form of your, your support team, your, 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 your technical team, to rather focus on new business development instead of, you know, working on the back, back end, trying to, trying to retain clients that are having consistent issues. So... Something uh, cool to note, uh, like I mentioned, you know, on, via the, the Cambium um, wireless fabric, uh, we can cover multiple sections of your network, okay? And uh, specifically speaking about the outdoor wireless front, uh, we've got the hybrid network that Cambium have. So, you know, we've got different types of solutions, but all of which can work together and be managed from CN Maestro. So, like I said, whether it's a smaller residential application, you know, you might want to use something like the EPMP 2000. For a slightly more demanding type scenario, uh, you know, your small to medium sized businesses or, or higher end residential clients, you know, that want those, those, those higher data packages, then you might want to go with something like the EPMP 3000. But then for, uh, uh, you know, a fully fledged enterprise solution, uh, you may want to look at uh, the CN Medusa, which, as I mentioned, is a top of line solution. Um, and not to say we don't have uh, residential clients, we most certainly do. We've got the likes of Wirelink with their Rush network. Um, that are uh, completely using the um, the CN uh, the 450M CN Medusa to provide uh, wireless data data packages up to 50 megabits per second, and um, yeah. So collectively, you know, what the hybrid solution brings to the forefront is is radios that that are, have all the the necessary bells and whistles to give you the highest performance, the highest level of performance and stability. So. Whether it be GPS synchronization, which uh, allows the radios to fire off at different times, uh, allowing you to utilize the same frequency, um, you know, for more efficient spec spectrum utilization, uh, smart beamforming, which is just a, another a feature that helps uh, fighting noise and interference, intelligent filtering, um, or MU MIMO. Okay, the, the ability of an AP or base station to speak to more than one subscriber module within a millisecond time frame. So looking at the, the, the main unit that we're, we're, we're looking at today, which is your PMP450M, um, you did see a picture of it on the, the very first slide. This is one of its SMs. Um, some of the key features are firstly massive MU MIMO. So this is sort of the key differentiator that quite simply put, no other radio out there has. Okay, So massive multiple user, multi-user, uh, multi multiple input, multiple outputs uh, means that this radio has a 14 by 14 MU MIMO capability. So this base station can speak to seven subscriber modules within a single time slot. So whereas the traditional point to multi point access point or base station will, will utilize, you know, your traditional TDMA protocol where it's uh, got a sort of one, one, one type merry-go-round method of serving each and one of those subscriber modules. The Cambium unit will serve seven subscriber modules within a, seven, within, within a single time slot. So before we're looking at the actual performance of this radio, rule of thumb, it can, do what, uh, uh, it can act seven times faster than a traditional radio. Um, smart beamforming. So this is a feature that's integrated in the 90 degree uh, base station that, uh, that is a 450MC in Medusa. So it's a radio and uh, antenna in one. So it covers the 90 degree area. Meaning that obviously, if you want to cover a full 360 degrees, you'll need um, four of these up on a tower back to back. Okay. What smart beamforming does is that this essentially maps out the most efficient route of communication between the base station and your subscriber module. 
what a traditional radio will do is it has to sort of work out that route every single time it communicates. So smart beamforming identifies the most efficient route and then reutilizes that every single time. And at the same time, avoids noise and interference from alternative uh, networks that are in the area. Um, another sort of major differentiator is the fact that this radio can achieve 1.2 gigabits per second. Now, many of you may say, okay, cool, that's, that's fantastic. That's on par with the, let's say, the likes of the EPMP 3000, which is also a fantastic flagship unit. But the, the key difference here is that this radio is able to do this on a very narrow 40 megahertz channel. Okay, so we're talking about half the channel width of a traditional AC radio. So rule of thumb, if you're working with 1.2 gigabits uh, per second um, on the 40 megahertz channel, if you're working in a really noisy environment and you need to slim that down to let's say maybe 20 megahertz, you'll be still working with about 600 megabits per second. So, I mean, that, that is sort of the key differentiator here that, 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 that no competitor can match on the specific unit. Furthermore, you're able to serve up to 238 concurrent connections, okay? So, so CPE devices or SMs, um, which is obviously a massive amount. If, you, if you're looking at, you know, what this radio can do, uh, we're looking at four or five times the amount of, a, of a, another top-of-class radio. So, you know, yes, you're going to spend a little bit more on a CN Medusa, but um, the return on investment is significantly higher because this radio is doing, you know, uh, the, 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 the sort of workload of four times or more radios in your network. So it really, you're actually cutting your overheads and obviously providing um, a capacity that's gonna last, you know, it's a future-proof solution that's gonna, gonna see you through for, for many years to come. And then, like I said, obviously these units also have GPS synchronization. So um, the radios will synchronize and, and communicate at different time intervals meaning that you can use the same portion of that available 5, 5 gigahertz frequency. On the subscriber module options side, uh, it's very, very straightforward. So this is your CPE device, uh, and, and that's this little picture on the right over here that we're looking at. Um, so we've got two options, a mid-gain and a high-gain option. Uh, quite simply put, they are exactly the same radio. Okay, they've got the same chipset. The only difference is the antenna. So you've got a 17 dBi versus a 24 dBi antenna. So, you know, um, basically, you know, depending on the distance that you're working with, uh, you, you'll decide on this. Um, an important thing to note is that Cambium have a free link planner tool. Uh, you can download it from their website for free and already start playing around with it before you've even purchased your first Cambium. But uh, basically, this will allow you to input the distances that you're working with, um, you know, ideally via Google Earth's uh, file, or a, um, a CSV file with the different coordinates of where you'd like to place your base station uh, and your subscriber modules, you can pull that into uh, Cambium's link planner and, and do a full comprehensive link plan, okay, which will then identify what specific subscriber modules you need to use with your, um, with your, your base station, okay? But furthermore, you can also do some really cool, um, you know, estimates to, to see, do I have good line of sight? Uh, what type of throughput can I expect? Uh, and you can even drill down as deep as putting in a noise floor to see how that will influence the, the level of throughput you, you get. So, you know, the saying goes, you know, um, um, failing to plan is planning to fail. Um, Cambium have definitely acknowledged that with their link planner tool. So definitely utilize it. Um, at the same time, I want to mention that if you aren't 100% comfortable with it yet, both Hudeco and Cambium will be able to assist you with a link plan. Okay. And that's not going to be at any additional charge. You're a valued customer uh, of ours, so you know we'll do that for you happily. Um, on the SM, because it's obviously working with uh, speeds of over 100 megabits per second, it does have a gigabit port on it, and it can max out at uh, 300 megabits per second. Something just to note uh, about these subscriber modules is because they obviously you know fall in line with the base station, they max out at 40 megabit uh, megahertz. Uh, channel width, um, this actually makes for a really great point-to-point -point link as well. So if you need a quick, um, you know, it will set up a point-to-point -point link that you is in a noisy area, um, these 450B uh, subscriber modules are actually a great solution because of that narrow channel width that they use. Once again, if, you, if you're in a very noisy area, you need to reduce it from 40, uh, you can maybe go to 20, you'll still achieve about 150 megabits per second. So really an excellent, uh, you know, point-to-point -point link. Um, if you do do a mass sort of uh, CN Medusa rollout um, and you have a few leftover SMs, fear not, you can definitely find somewhere to use them. 
Then um, a new introduction that we've recently released is the PMP 450i Lite. Now, the best way to sort of describe this radio is as the baby brother to the PMP 450M, which is your, your, your CM Medusa that we've previously discussed. Um, it also comes with the integrated 90 degree sector antenna. You'll see it's got a much more slimmer form factor than obviously the beast, the 450M. Uh, it can push up to 300 megabits per second, but once again, in a very narrow 40 megahertz channel. It's got an ultra wide band uh, radio support, so, um, you know, between uh, uh, 4,900 to 5,925 megahertz. So you, you've got a lot of options with regards to the channel selection, okay? And then, um, yeah, a very rugged metal enclosure designed to meet IP66 and IP67 standards. So that sort of falls in line with the 450B SMs and the 450M um, um, uh, CN Medusa. Um, so I've just got a, 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 a comment that's come through um, asking about what is the, the sort of the least low end SM that can work with the 450M. Um, so for, I'm just going to jump back. So, so like I mentioned, there's actually only two options. There used to be a different uh, a subscriber module that was uh, uh, called the 450 IISM, which was actually a lot more expensive. So the 450Bs have now come in at, at a, um, um, actually a fraction of the price, um, which is really great because it makes it a lot more accessible. Um, but yeah, these are pretty much the two options that you have. Uh, there's going to be a slight price difference between the two. Um, but like I said, it's, it's exactly the same radio chipset. The, the reason there's a price difference is just because this unit will come, uh, the, the mid gain is a flat panel 17 dBi, and then the, the high gain is a, it's got a nice dish antenna on it, which is 24 dBi. So these are your, your highest and lowest end options. Um, you know, so they've kept it simple on here. There's not a million different options, which, which I quite like because it can be quite overwhelming when you're dealing with a portfolio that's got you know, so many different types of variants and you really don't know what to use where. So it's, it's a mid gain and a high gain, quite simply put. You can, of course, use a high gain for a short distance. Um, it will maybe even give you a slightly more narrow beam width. But um, the reason for bringing the mid gain is to say, look, if you're not covering massive distances, let's save you a bit of money, rather go for the mid gain unit. Ooh, so then back to the, the, the cost effective uh, uh, 450i light, so the baby brother of this, the, the 450M. Um, like I said, it's an IP rated unit, and, and that pretty much goes across the board for all units within this, uh, the 450 range. Okay, um, It's got a feature called dynamic interference filtering to provide industry leading noise isolation for, for improved performance. So obviously, just an added measure to ensure the stability of your link. But uh, something really awesome to note is that you can still go up to 238 subscriber modules. Um, and, um, but what, something you need to be aware of is that the light unit is um, capped at 20 subscriber modules when you first purchase it. So this particular unit does need a, um, does need a, a license key upgrade to open it up. Um, guys, actually, I think there's an error on here. This is actually supposed to be 120. This is referring to the, the full capacity of a 450M. So on this unit, it's 120 um, units that you can go up to, but it's limited to, to 20 without the upgrade license key. Um, the unit has 2x2 MIMO and utilizes the OFDM wireless protocol. So once again, adding for uh, um, or providing a, a, a robust noise resistant link. Um, so look, this unit fits in perfectly for areas where you've maybe got a lower sort of client uh, base. Um, or it also serves as a fantastic migration tool. So if you have an, an area that you want to serve, but you don't quite have the uh, massive demand that justifies the, you know, the rollout of a CN Medusa, then this is a fantastic starting point. You know, get one of these 450i lights out. You will use the same respective SMs that the 450M uses, which is your 450B subscriber modules. And you can roll out that network. And basically, once you start getting a bit closer to your, your, either your capacity or your, your client threshold, um, you can you can quite simply swap that base station out for a fully fledged 450M Medusa, uh, and then reutilize this radio for another small um, you know sort of developing area. Um, okay, I've got a question here. So, what about the 450M light? Um, so, this will be the 450i light. There is no 450M light uh, that we're offering at the moment. Uh, the, this is a, it's called the 450i. And the max throughput that you can get on this unit is 300 megabits per second 
uh, on a 40 megahertz channel. So, um, so, so it isn't obviously the same level um, as a 450M, but like I mentioned, this is what you're typically going typically to use for those smaller areas. Um, you're still going to get, you know, 300 megabits on 40 megahertz, which is, a, a, it's actually a pretty decent um, sort of capacity, uh, considering that you're not opening up to, a, let's say, a full 80 megahertz that a traditional, um, you know, AC radio would open up to. So, and furthermore, it's not using your standard 802.11 AC pro, uh, wireless uh, protocol. It's using OFDM. So it's extremely reliable, reliable um, you know, perfect for mission critical applications as well. I hope that answers your question. And then last but not least, um, you know, it's all good and well, me uh, raving about this radio and it's, 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 it's amazing capabilities. Um, but um, something nice to share is that it has been used out in the field. We've got plenty of clients in South Africa, around the world that are really standardizing on the solution. So um, one very prestigious client that's out there in Europe is actually YOLO which is the largest WISP in Europe, full stop, okay? And they are currently looking after 600,000 Cambium devices via CN Maestro, okay? So, I mean, these guys are using, obviously, this, the CN Medusas to set up their, their infrastructure and their distribution layer, but they are also utilizing the likes of the Cambium CN Pilot R190 routers, so they have visibility of their clients' Wi-Fi networks and can troubleshoot remotely. So, I mean, that's an awesome showcase of really, you know, the extent to which, uh, you know, Camium can support uh, a massive amount of devices. Um, but then, you know, um, that's obviously a European um, example. Um, on a last note, I also wanted to mention that uh, YOLO reached the highest speeds on the Netflix index, beating out all other fiber um, service providers uh, last year. So that uh, just shows you the types of speeds that we are now reaching wirelessly. Um, locally, we've got the likes of Wirelink, who are openly marketing 50 megabit per second wireless packages uh, here in South Africa. Um, and furthermore, they've actually just rolled out their, their Rush network, which is an open access network, which allows other um, sort of smaller ISPs to jump on that network. So to be able to not just support their own sort of business endeavors, but support other smaller ISPs, you can imagine um, that you definitely need a, a very high capacity, robust a wireless solution, and that's quite simply put why they why they have they've they've had to turn to Cambium. Um, you know, it's a, sort of the next step up from anything else that one would have been using. And then, last but not least, another local um, case study in South Africa is the Herotel Group. And if you haven't heard of them, they are actually the largest WISP in South Africa. So they're actually a holding group, and they have about thirty or so um, WISPs within their uh, within their group. So we're very proud of this client. Um, uh, over recent years, they've done a full revamp of their network to go purely to Cambium. Um, they needed something with a, a bit more, uh, you know, a bit more kick, a bit more capacity, uh, and something that they knew would would protect their their future uh, uh, investments. So um, you know, for them, it was a, a no brainer to go this way, and um, they're doing absolutely amazing things using this technology. And um, yeah, guys, so as you'll know, in recent times, um, you know, we're all obviously in the midst of a, a COVID-19 pandemic. So, you know, you've got your typical scenarios, uh, the WISPs, um, you know, integrators that are serving um, you know, um, clients that are, are utilizing things like surveillance and so forth. But it's important to note, guys, that, you know, you guys have a lot of opportunity to make an impact and, and help, um, help um, the crisis at hand. So, you know, we, 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 something I want to highlight is that this is definitely a solution that can help um, support essential services, okay? So, I mean, in this, this very simplistic diagram here or illustration, um, we're basically showcasing how you can utilize the PMP450 for a high capacity point to multipoint solution. So, you know, if this were, let's say, hypothetically speaking, a hospital, um, you could help roll out, um, you know, enter, uh, enterprise level Wi-Fi, you know, obviously also using the Cambium CN pilot access points, um, to support everything that's going inside, uh, uh, you know, happening inside these buildings, okay? If we're looking at a medical facility, uh, generally speaking, you're going to have uh, multiple types of users, whether it be, you know, uh, actual patients, whether it be staff, whether it be management, um, you know, it, there's a, a high demand for reliable uh, Wi-Fi connectivity and furthermore, uh, machinery that is needing to communicate the whole time. 
And, um, you know, a loss of communications in a sort of essential services or hospital type scenario can unfortunately result in the loss of life. So definitely bear this in mind. There are a lot of sort of essential services and, and hospitals that need, um, need a, a rock solid um, sort of um, communication line. So definitely bear the 450 in, in, in mind when you're doing that. So these are just some of the statistics on, um, on um, the healthcare sector. And, you know, they're basically uh, highlighting here that it's got a lot of similarities to um, a number of the projects that you would have already been working on. So it's a large building with a, a high number of uh, uh, rooms and high density of rooms. Uh, you've got often multiple patients per, per room. Um, the stay time is significantly longer than like a typical hotel, you know, up to six days plus. There's a high bed occupancy. You need multiple SSIDs, mission critical communications, and multiple IoT devices that need to be supported. So for that, you need high capacity, and this is where the 450M falls in. So just a, a little, um, you know, obviously uh, reiterating everything I've covered. You know, um, a very demanding environment with multiple smart devices uh, that need to be backed up by a rock solid solution. And yeah, guys, th that sort of summarizes it uh, with the conclusion of that, you know, that sort of opportunity for us to help the crisis at hand. I think that sort of uh, covers everything. But uh, it's a very straightforward solution at the end of the day. Um, you know, people m may maybe shy away a little bit when they, they think, wow, this is, a, you know, the top of line uh, solution. Um, you know, it's probably very complex and so forth. And, and really, it's not. It's as, as simple as getting a um, uh, you know, a powerful base station that works with two SM options. Um, like I said, we've also got the 450 Lite, which is maybe a, a nice sort of uh, migration tool to get your network started. But um, the important thing to note is that Cambium and Udeco are here to help you the whole way, okay? We've got training that we can offer, zero to hero training if you're brand new to the industry, where we can build you up from the ground, okay? Whether you never work with Wi-Fi, outdoor wireless uh, um, um, net, uh, networking, surveillance, uh, VoIP services, uh, you know, definitely do a zero to hero training where we can build you up uh, and get you, uh, you know, give you a sort of foundation to build your knowledge upon. Um, furthermore, we can take it one step further and actually offer you certification training on Cambium. So, um, you know, via Hudeco, uh, we can definitely, we, we've got a number of different training courses going out. So definitely speak to Hudeco about when the next one is happening. But I also want to mention that Cambium have a learning portal um, where you can actually do a number of free training sessions. It's very, very powerful uh, and a good way to get you up to speed. Um, and I'm actually just going to quickly share the link in the comments um, if you guys want to, um, to utilize that. I would highly recommend it. I personally do it myself. Uh, it's got some really very easy to understand videos and they ask you a number of questions along the way. So it actually keeps it quite interesting because you're not watching a long drawn out video and then having to do a test afterwards. By the time you you reach the end of the video, you actually would have answered most of the tests already. So definitely go and create a free learning account, get access to those videos. Um, uh, it's, it's a really powerful way to get started. Um, you know, like, like I said, whether you are brand new to the industry or already a, um, a developed ISP that's maybe just looking to take the next step, you know, with Cambium, um, reach out to us. We are here to help you. Um, so yeah, guys, um, that sort of sums it up. Like I said, short and sweet. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to, um, to, to, to answer them. Um, so I've got a question through here. So Shaul, with how many PMP solutions out there, ubiquity, Huawei, how is Cambium, um, standing out? Okay, I, I hope I've got the question um, right here. So basically, um, what's it's, uh, from my understanding, you want to know how does Cambium sort of differentiate itself from uh, the likes of a Ubiquiti, a Huawei, and so forth. So, I mean, it's a very simple question or, or, or simple question to answer. We get it all the time, okay? And I don't want to put any of these brands down, okay? Because the likes of Ubiquiti, if I, if I use Murrow's case, for example, uh, we are obviously still one of the biggest distributors of Ubiquiti, and it is a fantastic solution, okay? Miro has, has literally built our name up using Ubiquiti over the last few years, okay? Um, you know, they offer very cost-effective equipment and so forth, um, but sort of the, 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 the reason most people would want to jump from a Ubiquiti to a Cambium is it is the next step up, okay? 
Um, you know, if we look at the Whisper Palooza Awards, which is the most prestigious awards ceremony in our industry, okay, for, for outdoor wireless equipment, Cambium has actually won the Manufacturer of the Year Award for the last three years straight, okay? So that's, first of all, a testament to their quality. But the sort of main reason why you'd want to go Cambium over Ubiquiti is quite simply put the performance, okay? If we're looking even at the EPMP 3000, which will probably align a bit better with the, the Ubiquiti equivalent, uh, you know, just from a, a, a sort of mid-range uh, comparison purpose, um, then, you know, it, 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 it quite simply can't compete because you've got features like uh, 4x4 ME MIMO, okay, on the EPMP 3000. So similar to the, the CN Medusa, that MU MIMO capability allows these radios to speak with multiple subscriber modules. So before we even looking at the, the extremely powerful processor that's put into the radio, um, you know, smart beam forming, all these wonderful bells and whistles, this radio can perform, with the EPMP 3000 in particular, can perform at double the rate of a standard pointy multipoint um, base station. If we're looking at the CN Medusa, I don't quite know what to compare it to because I don't think there is anything like that out there. Um, you know, this radio um, can speak to seven subscriber modules at, at, uh, at a single time slot, okay? Um, and, um, yeah, so furthermore, you've got your CN Maestro um, platform, which gives you full visibility. So whether it's even an indoor Wi-Fi um, access point or an outdoor wireless PMP 450M Medusa, uh, you can control all of that from a single platform, okay? Which is extremely powerful, you know, pulling multiple, multiple components together to, to, to provide a, uh, or to build a, a rock solid network. Um, on the Huawei front, okay, Huawei definitely do try and um, compete a bit more in the carrier grade um, space. Um, but, you know, one of the things I mentioned on the CN Maestro platform is it's completely free. There's no licensing fees. So with Huawei, you are spending exorbitant prices on the actual hardware equipment. And then you have this wonderful thing uh, on an annual basis that comes back to bite you in the form of annual licensing fees. So first of all, for access to the management platform. Second of all, for support. So what we're saying is you, you guys have already made the investment in the Cambium equipment, okay? We don't want to double charge you. That's not doing anyone any favors, okay? You've already purchased equipment. You will get our full support free of charge. Um, I hope that answers your questions. Do you have any, anything more to ask around that? Right. Um, so I see they're not there. Perfect. Um, thank you so much, Charles, for that wonderful, wonderful presentation um, and for enlightening us more around the um, CN Medusa. Um, I think it's it's now very clear to all of us how we can be able to position it and what you know value or advantages it brings into our market, especially during this you know COVID times uh, where we're mm -hmm. looking to deliver services. Um, you know, um, you know, across the board, and it's not only just on the hospitality front mm. or on the medical front, or you know, it's it's really just across the board, and and especially for you know ISPs and WISPs, I think this is this is fantastic mm. technology that they can take advantage of. Um, it's quite uh, cost effective, um, just as you mentioned. Um, you know, no license fees, uh, availability or accessibility to mm. a free management platform uh, from CN Maestro. So those are just some of the advantages that, you know, from, from a cost-benefit analysis, um, a waste but not XP, um, can be able to take advantage of. So thank you so much for that. Um, without oh, further ado, I think we, are, we have come. Yeah, thank you so much, Charles. I think we've come to the end of our webinar session for today. Uh, to all our participants, thank you once again for taking your time to be with us this beautiful Friday morning here in Nairobi. Shal, I know it is um, about 9.40 there, um, quite early in the morning, but thank you once again. Um, we will be sharing right, this um, webinar session. Yeah, we will be sharing this webinar session on our YouTube channel. Um, and each of our participants will receive the link to the YouTube channel. Please um, go back to it at your own time, share it with your friends, with your peers, you know, just so that we are continuously, you know, empowering you to connect communities. So with that, I would like to wish you all a great Friday and a lovely weekend ahead. Uh, please join us for our subsequent webinar sessions every Friday. Have a good day and bye-bye for now. Fantastic. Thank you, everyone. Have a great weekend.